Hello there, I'm Ben Wade, and in this Unleash You tutorial, you are going to learn how to install WordPress with Installatron. This video is part of a series where you'll learn how to build a website with WordPress. Those are all organized so they're easy for you to navigate at UnleashU.com. And now, let's dive into installing WordPress with Installatron. So the first thing you'll need to do is log into your cPanel. But before we do that, I want to point out something that's very important here. If you get held up or something doesn't work quite right with this process, be sure to reach out to your hosting and domain support, whoever that is. If you're hosting here with Unleash U, the information's right up here. Whoever your hosting company is should be able to help you if anything gets stuck. Now, in order to log into your cPanel, if you're hosting here with us, go right here to hosting and domain login. And then you'll want to log into your account with your username and customer number and your password. And that drops you here into your account screen and you'll need to go up to my products. And then once you're here, find your cPanel hosting and click on manage. and that'll bring you here to your hosting management dashboard. The other way to get into your cPanel account with most hosting companies is to go to your domain name forward slash cPanel. And that'll bring you here to your cPanel login. Now the username and password for your cPanel is typically something you receive from your hosting company when you set up your account. If you're hosting here with Unleash U, you can get that information right here where it says cPanel login, and you can change your password to something that you can remember. And then you can use that to log in right here. And the next thing you'll wanna do is click right here on cPanel admin. And this is gonna drop you into your cPanel. Now, once you're here at your cPanel or your control panel, which is the control panel for your hosting account, you're gonna to wanna to look for this WordPress icon under Featured Applications. Go ahead and click on this. And this is going to open Installatron. Now, Installatron is an application that a lot of hosting companies use. And this automatically installs a lot of scripts or software onto your server for you. In this particular case, we're going to use it to install WordPress. So if you come right down here to where it says install this application and click on this. And this will open up this screen right here. And this is where you start choosing options for installing your WordPress installation. First of all is your domain. Typically you want to leave this right where it's at and not fill in any directory information. Now if you had a website that was already in existence and you were just going to use WordPress to run your blog or something like that, you might use the directory information, that's what it's for. But in our particular case, WordPress is going to be running the whole site, so you want to install it right on the home directory. Version should be the latest. If not, that's no big deal. We'll update it right after we install. You will need to have it selected to where it says, I accept the license agreement. Now, as far as automatic updates are concerned, I typically don't have automatic updates in place. I like to manually prompt the updates. That way I can watch them in case anything breaks. As far as the administrator username and password, you can leave the randoms in here that you want, or you can set your own if you wish. And one tip I'll give you here is to never use the word admin. A lot of bots that try to hack into sites automatically use admin and just a random password. So if you don't use admin, it doesn't allow them to try to hack your site. And here, go ahead and fill in the password that you want to use. and then fill in the email that you want to use for your admin email. Your blog title or your website title is going to be the title that you want to have for your blog. And same thing with your tagline. And if you need to change these later, you can, that's fine. Or you can fill them out here when you're installing. 
As far as failed login attempts go, it's not a bad idea to use this feature. What it does is if somebody fails a login too often, it'll block them. A lot of times people that use software to try to break into your website will just fire a bunch of random passwords at your site, hoping that one sticks. And if you limit the login attempts, what'll happen is if somebody has too many failed attempts, it'll just block them. So it's not a bad idea to use this feature. As far as enable multi-site, leave it on no. And as far as advanced setting management, leave it on automatically manage advanced settings for me. And then once you've got these filled in, click install. And then you'll see this screen and you'll see the progress bar while it's installing. And then once it's installed and done, the process is complete. And if you want to log in, you can go right here to where it says forward slash WP dash admin after your domain name. And it'll take you directly into your website. The other thing to keep in mind is that the username and password that you set up you might need to use as well and you should get a copy of those in your email. But once you're here at your dashboard, that's it, you're all done and WordPress has been installed. And this is a standard out of the box installation for WordPress. Sometimes you'll see this holding screen. You might need to refresh it. But this is an out of the box install for WordPress. And in the rest of the videos in this tutorial series, we're going to show you how to actually set WordPress up. But that's it. That's all there is to installing with Installatron. All right, in the rest of the tutorials in this series, you'll learn how to actually build a website with WordPress. Another series will be behind the scenes tutorials on how we created these videos. We'll cover how we built UnleashU.com, which is where we organize all of our tutorials so they're easy for you to navigate, and links to that are in the video description, so be sure to visit. Lots of great stuff coming up, and you don't want to miss any of it. Be sure to click that like button on our Facebook page. Be sure to click that subscribe button on our YouTube channel. Basically follow us wherever you find us so you never miss a thing. Also like, favorite, comment on, and share this video so other people have an easier time finding it. Alright, thanks for watching and keep an eye out for more tutorials coming up.